Hello space enthusiasts and welcome back for a Rocket Lab Saturday with your favorite Star Trek girl. In this Rocket Lab Saturday we will be going over the most vital organ of a rocket. It's beating heart, the engine. So come with me on a journey as we explore Rocket Lab's famous Rutherford engine along with its reusability, its ability to generate money-making cash flow, and looking towards the future with the Archimedes rocket. So let's get started. The engine in the Rocket Lab rocket is responsible for generating the immense thrust needed to overcome Earth's gravity and propel the rocket into space. It's not just a propulsion system, however, because its driving force is behind the entire mission. The engine's efficiency, power, and design all play a factor in the rocket's payload capacity, mission profile, and overall success. Without a reliable, high-performance engine, the grand aspirations of Rocket Lab simply wouldn't be possible. At the core of every rocket lies its beating heart, the engine. Let's go and take a deep dive into the Rutherford engine. Rocket Lab's Rutherford engine was named after New Zealand's famous physicist, Ernest Rutherford. The engine weighs a manageable 35 kilograms otherwise 75 pounds, about the weight of a golden retriever, John Z, for example. They are manufactured at Rocket Lab's headquarters in Huntington Beach, California, and they are then shipped off to the New Zealand facility for testing before eventually being assembled with the Electron for launch. The Electron rocket's lightweight design and clever engineering by the Rocket Lab team showcases how each component including the engine, contributes to cost efficiency. The engine's performance directly influences things such as fuel consumption and payload capacity, making it a key player in the overall cost equation for Rocket Lab's profit margins. Now, Rocket Lab's strategic use of advanced materials and manufacturing techniques like their 3D printing and their lightweight carbon composite structure further enhances these cost-saving strategies for Rocket Lab. Rutherford engine has the most 3D printed components of any rocket engine in the world. The components that are primarily 3D printed are the combustion chamber, ejectors, pumps, and main propellant valves. And those primary components can be printed in as little as 24 hours, drastically reducing the production time for Rocket Lab's Electron rocket. Each Electron rocket is installed with nine Rutherford engines on their first stage, and on the second stage, it utilizes a single vacuum-optimized version of the engine. The Rutherford engine is a true testament to Rocket Lab's innovation. Its groundbreaking feature lies in its electric pumps. That's right, electric, which eliminate the need for bulky and complex turbo pumps. This design not only reduces the weight, but also streamlines the engine's structure, enhancing its efficiency and its reliability. In fact, Rocket Lab is doing so great with its launches and its engines that they are recently expanding their propulsion manufacturing and test teams and increasing its 3D printing facilities in the Huntington Beach facility to produce 200 Rutherford engines in 12 months. The engines will be integrated into Electron vehicles for liftoff from Launch Complex 1 in New Zealand, as well as Launch Complex 2 in the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport at Wallops Island, Virginia in the United States. Now a huge factor is reusability. And let me tell you what, Rocket Lab's past mission that they just did called We Love the Nightlife completely was a game changer. Completely changed everything. And 
Reason being is that rocket that went up on that mission into space, it had nine Rutherford engines on it, okay? One of those Rutherford engines was reused from a previous rocket launch. This is the first time Rocket Lab has ever done it. And what's even more cool is that it was a successful mission. Seeing that this was a success and that reusability is fully capable now, Rocket Lab plans to utilize on their next mission, hopefully their very next mission, not just one engine, but nine, all nine engines that are needed to power the single rocket up into space, Rocket Lab plans to have all of those be from former rocket trips that were reused. So reused, refurbished, and you know what that's gonna do? That's gonna bring cash flow. That's gonna increase profit margin. That's gonna put money back into the pockets of Rocket Lab as well as the shareholders. So this is huge. If not just for fans, but also for investors, this is a big, big step towards generating cash flow and profits. So definitely have to keep our eyes out on this next upcoming mission because to watch a rocket launch that has reused rockets, how cool can that be? We're gonna find out. Let's talk about Rocket Lab's future, and that is going to entail the Archimedes engine. This thing is going to be an enormous powerhouse. This is gonna be the powerhouse of the rocket, and it's almost like the mitochondria of the rocket, right? This thing is just gonna be packed full and loaded with lots of power. So let's go ahead and take a deep dive into that new Archimedes engine. The new Archimedes engine poised to power the Neutron rocket symbolizes Rocket Lab's commitment to pushing boundaries. By building on the foundation of the Rutherford engine success, Archimedes aims for higher thrust, more efficiency, and of course, the key factor, reusability, as the heart of Neutron's rocket. This engine will play a crucial role in lifting heavier payloads and expanding Rocket Lab's capabilities in the competitive space launch market. And here is an image showing the Archimedes engine making the Rutherford engine, the predecessor, look like a dwarf. Now, what's really fascinating is that the Archimedes engine is so powerful that the new Neutron rocket will only require seven Archimedes engines to power it for liftoff. Whereas the predecessor that powered Electron, the Rutherford, required nine Rutherford engines to power Electron. This is what I like to call innovation. More for less. Thanks again for joining me for a Rocket Lab Saturday. And until next time, invest long and prosper.